emotion surrounding Hawaii's prized quarterback. Kim and Kiahi with Hawaii's game on national TV tomorrow. Cole Brennan's playing status is the biggest headline right now. And today, ESPN reported something that conflicted with what head coach June Jones has been saying all week. The National Sports Network, in a breaking news segment on ESPN News, said that Brennan would not be playing because of the concussion he suffered on Saturday. UH responded by saying Colt's availability remains a game time decision. Interesting enough, Jones was taping an interview with ESPN for its pregame show tomorrow, minutes before the report was broadcasted nationwide. And just minutes ago, ESPN retracted the report. So we're back to square one, and it looks like we won't know who will start at quarterback for Hawaii until the Warriors kick off with Nevada tomorrow night. Of course, stay tuned with KGMB9 and KGMB9.com for the very latest. Later in sports, we'll have that retraction and talk about where Brennan now stands in the Heisman race. Liz Chen, KGMB9 News. Backup Tyler Grunke took majority of the snaps, but no matter who it is behind center, the Warrior receiving core is ready to roll. No matter who it is, you know, uh, one, two, three, it don't matter. You know, uh, receivers will have to step up, make plays, whoever it is. But, um, you know, we definitely going to be ready for anybody, you know, whoever's throwing us the rock. So um, it's all about us making plays, you know, line, just giving us, getting quarterback that split second, you know, just to get the ball out. And uh, receivers, we definitely will do the rest. We we'll talked about the elements and the weather, you know, from, from the beginning of the season, you know, talking about how they move the uh, time back to 8 o'clock and everything. But the thing I say is, you know, they, they go be on the same field we is. You know, yeah, they used to run down there in the cold, but, you know, once, once that game starts, once it, once it starts, you know, they're in the line, you know, just as we is. Warriors have never won in Reno, 0-3 all-time, 0-2 in the June Jones era. Kickoff set for tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, Hawaii time. Majority of the snaps, majority of the snaps were taken by Tyler Grunke. If I had to open my wallet and make that decision, my, my guess would be Cole Brennan would not play. That it would be either Tyler Grunke or Inoki Funaki. But Rob, Rob, I, I can tell you this. A decision on whether or not Cole Brennan will play tomorrow night is a decision that will be made right before kickoff between June Jones, the head coach, the team's two trainers, and the team's doctor. Thanks a lot, big guys. Stay safe up there. Mm -hmm. The UH football team is in Reno today where Colt Brennan continues to practice and his playing status continues to be a hot topic with a bit of drama. This is the report that came out of ESPN about half an hour ago saying that Colt Brennan's status because of his concussion is a game time decision. But that's not what the worldwide leaders in sports said earlier tonight. Their initial report said Brennan would not play. As for how Brennan's doing on the practice field for the second day, he took second string reps behind Tyler Grunke. If Grunke is the go-to to Guy, it will be his second start of the season. Grunke started against Charleston Southern when Brennan was out with an Rainbow Warrior football heads to Reno, Nevada tomorrow. Plays in the coldest conditions this season. Forecasted to be 49 degrees at kickoff with cloudy skies and almost a 0% chance. Will he play or won't he? The decision as to whether or not Colt Brennan will take the field tomorrow against Nevada following the mild concussion he was said to have suffered last weekend will be announced tomorrow. What we can say is Tyler Gronke again took the majority of the first team snaps today as the team worked out in Reno, although Brennan did participate. But while our focus has been on UH's offense, the Hawaii D has been spending its time figuring out how to approach the Wolfpack's offense. And that's no easy task. Nevada is number two in the WAC behind Hawaii in total offense, averaging 494 yards per compared to the Warriors 534. But the pack attack also sports the conference's top rushing game at over 230 30 yards per outing and the discovery of quarterback Colin Kaepernick a redshirt freshman with a live arm and fast feet has given opposing defenses even more to worry about well coached football team uh, you know definitely we have to be able to play the run and and uh, then they have a pretty good passing game uh, they have a quarterback that can can run it or throw it so they've, they've got a very talented team we've improved during the season we were uh, lost our concentration in that fourth quarter uh, this last weekend but that was good because we got it you know we feel we got we have our focus back the coaches worked hard the players re worked really hard in in these days that we've had so uh, I'm completely confident in our guys Hawaii's 9-0, 6-0 in the WAC. Nevada's 5-4, 3-2 in conference. The Warriors have never won in Reno. Kickoff tomorrow is set for 6.05 p.m. Hawaii